of February 18th, 2020. My name is Hope. And I'm Allie. Welcome to your TNN. While the 4th of July is still months away, the town of Steamboat Springs just got a not-so-little fireworks preview last week. A world record setting firework was on full display for the whole town to see. The firework weighed in at 2,797 pounds, breaking the previous world record by about 250 pounds. The shell of the record-breaking firework was 7 inches thick and over 62 inches in diameter. Fireworks enthusiast Tim Borden worked with a team of people to create this beast of a firework. He also worked closely with the Steamboat Springs safety organizations to make sure that none of the town's residents, wildlife, or structures would be in danger when launching this firework more than a half a mile high in the sky. Everything went off without a hitch and people gathered from all around to see the record-breaking event. Down in Tucson, a group of pranksters are taking their fun to the streets. They have been several potholes around the city filled with artificial turf, giving it the appearance of grass growing in the hole. Many local residents believe that it is being done to draw attention to the many existing potholes that have been, haven't been fixed for several years just allowing them to get bigger and bigger. Hopefully the city of Tucson recognizes, recognizes that the, these potential safety hazards need to be repaired soon. Now let's go over to Ms. G. Cavelli with a weekly update. Good morning students, staff, and parents. This week we do start our Azela testing for all English language learners. This testing will take place in our library from Tuesday till Friday, and we hope that those students do a fantastic job. On Friday this week, we do have a field trip for first grade to the Pioneer Museum. And on Saturday, we are having a job fair at our district office from 9 a.m. to noon. If you know any teachers that are looking for a job in a fantastic district with a lot of support and great staff and students, please have them attend our job fair. In addition, please make sure your students are coming to school every day on time. We do have our February challenge, the DBAX challenge, that if they're here every day on time, they will win a free ticket to a baseball game. And also we have our American Heart Association's challenge. We did have a an assembly um, a few weeks ago and students are to be fundraising for the event on February 25th and 26th. Let's have a great week. Thanks, Ms. Shreekavali. Now let's go to Jamie. With so welcome back to sports. My name is Jamie. In NBA news, the Suns lost to the Lakers last week 125 to 100. They lost six of their last seven games and their record dropped 21 to 33. The Coyotes came back from being down 2 nothing in the first two minutes of the game against the Canadians last week. They, the win put them back in the playoff spot with 24 games left to be played in the season. As the weather begins to warm back up here in Arizona, it can only mean one thing, the return of baseball. Over the next couple weeks, 15 major league teams will return to their springtime home at one of the several training facilities around the valley. That is all for sports. See you next time. Thanks, Damien. Now let's go to Entertainment News with Mackenzie and Addie. Welcome to Entertainment News. My name is Addie. And I am Mackenzie. On Saturday, on Saturday February 29th, 2020, on Northeast West Mech Campus, in Phoenix will be hosting the second annual Touch a tr Truck. This family-friendly event offers children hands-on opportunity to explore a, explore a variety of unique vehicles. Vehicles on display will include tractors, a garbage truck, semi-trucks, military trucks, and various construction machinery. Touch a Truck is a free event with the goal to thank the local community for its continued support of West Mech. Food trucks will also be on site serving up yummy bites. That's all for this week. This week's entertainment news. See you next time. Bye. Now let's go to Kaylee with Joke of the Week. Hello, welcome to the Joke of the Week. My name is Kaylee, and today we have Braylon from Miss Brina's first grade class. So, Braylon, what is your joke? Why was the baby 
strawberry crying. I don't know. I was the baby strawberry crying. Because his parents was in the same. <laughs> Great joke. Here on Joke of the Week, you want to hear your joke. If you have a joke and would like to be on the news, go link below. See you next Thanks, time. Lisa. Now let's go to Kids at Hope with Otta Lee. Welcome to Kids at Hope. My name is Otto Lee. Today we have Harper, a kindergartner from Mrs. Nelson's homeroom. Today we are talking about the Ace of Clubs. The Ace of Clubs is a caring adult that can identify your many talents and skills and treasures that exist in each one of us. They are adults you can ask for help whenever you need it. So Harper, who is your Ace of Clubs? My God. <laughs> How does it make you feel to know that this person can identify your talents and skills? Because she loves me. How does your ace of clubs make you feel whenever you're around him? Awesome because she gives me hugs and kisses. Awesome because she gives me hugs and kisses. Child can have several ace of clubs. They can be teachers, coaches, relatives, or family friends. If you would like to appear on Kids at Hope, please go to the link below. See you next time on Kids at Hope. Thanks, Ali. Now it's got a fun fact trivia with Aubrey and Nick. Welcome to Fun Fact Trivia. My name's Aubrey. And I'm Nick. This Tuesday, February 18th, is, is the National Battery Day. It is a day that we get to appreciate all the great things that batteries do for us on a daily basis. From keeping your watch ticking, powering the smoke detectors in your house, helping start your parents' car, keeping your phone on, your Chromebook running without it being plugged in, and much more. Batteries play a huge part in our lives. Your question today is, what year was the first elect electric battery created? If A, 1650, B, 1725, or C, 1800, you have 10 seconds to decide which one is correct. you are correct. The first known battery called the Voltaic Pile was designed and created by Alessandro Volta. He was an Italian physicist and chemist. The word volt, which is the measure of electric p potential, comes from his name. That's all for Fun Fact Trivia. See you next time. Bye. Thanks, guys. Now let's go over to Shailene with Science Side. <laughs> Students at MIT have invented a solar sea water des desalinator. This device uses the power of the sun er to remove the salt from the seawater. Desalination has typically been an expensive process, and what many people believe, developing nations around the world need to provide enough clean drinking water. This prototype was built for a wrap for about $100 and provides enough drinking water for an average family. In the past, the biggest problems with the solar de desalinators is the amount of energy lost in the process and the condensation. What with this solar consider the efficiency rate up is up to 385% and they believe they can get it as high as 800% with further research and development. It, it might not be long until this type of unit will be sent all over the world, giving people clean drinking water. They need to stay healthy. That's all for Science Time. See you next week. Bye. Thank you, and that's going to Word of the Week with John. Welcome to Word of the Week. My name is Josh. This week's wor word is approximate. Approximate is an adjective and it means close to the actual but not completely accurate or exact. Here's how to use it in a sentence. The, the, new kid, the new student asked about the approximate time that they go to lunch. See you next time, Word of the Week. Thanks, Josh. Here's cool student head talents with faith. Welcome to Cool Stand Hand Talks. My name is Faith, and today we have Layla from Mrs. Warren's fifth grade class. So, what's your talent? Um, I can pop my knee out of my socket. That sounds great. Let's see it. Wait. Oh, there we go. Wow, 
that's cool. Why didn't you learn how to do that? Um, I'm not sure. I was just sitting in the car, and I noticed I could pop my knee on my socket. Does it hurt to do that? It did at first, but now it doesn't. Thank you for sharing. If you want to be on Cool Student Hidden Talents, go to the link below at smusd.me slash news. To, we would love to have you on. See you next time on Cool Student Hidden Talents. Thanks, Faith. Now let's go to Aiden with the Kids Heart Challenge. Tartesso. Ever since we started our kickoff of our Jump for Heart, it's been a big su success, and now you can start earning your prizes and donating more and more money. The Jump Rope Station in PE will start on the 25th and 26th, and that is also the time you want to turn in your envelopes with money. Let's keep up the good work. Thanks, Aiden. Remember, Girl Scout cookies will be sold after school today and on Tuesday t next week. Cake pops will be sold this Wednesday after school. Kona ice will be sold this Thursday during lunch and recess. That's all for this week's TNN. See you next time. Bye! Bye.